What is wrong with the younger generation? Hmm, that's a, that's a, <laughs> that's a loaded question. But first of all, there's nothing wrong with them. They're just young. And so whether it's Generation Y, Generation Z, Generation Alpha, they're the greatest generation yet. So when you look at it, they're the smartest. They're giving back more. So I love them. I love them to death. It's easy to pile on and bash the younger generations. But guess what? That's what we've done for hundreds of years. I've gone through, I've looked at the New York Times from 1960s. What's wrong with this generation, the Woodstock generation? Look at the, the newspaper in the 80s. What's wrong with Gen X? They're just being consumed by MTV. Their brains are rotting. And so that's what we do the best as a pile on the younger generation. So let me correct that first and foremost right away, that this generation is the best generation. They're the smartest, they're gonna give back more, and they also understand that success is a choice in this day and age. So the only advice that I'd give them is to understand that you're young. It's not gonna happen overnight. And so they see these perfect images on Instagram and Facebook. I can't even imagine if I grew up with that at that age as a teenager. They're just seeing this, oh, this per person's baller on Instagram. They've got all this money. Whether that's true or not, they don't know it. And so it's really just looking at that and understand, hey, anything worth doing is going to take time. There's no such thing as an overnight success. It looks like that, but there's 20 years of hard work put in by that person. So I always say it's about being persistent in the short term and patient in the long term and also understand that things happen for you not to you and so the greatest thing that ever happened to me i like to put my mind in their mindset so let's say if i go back to my college years so we're going back and so i there's nothing else i wanted to do more in the world than play college basketball but here i was i was cut from my high school team as a junior and so who's this person that wants to play division one basketball so i get to michigan state top 10 program and I say, you know what? I just want to get involved. So all you young people out there, just get involved. So I go, let's get involved. I'll be the manager, which is basically the water boy. So you're helping the team out. I'm around the team all the time. I start working out, putting on weight, start doing what I need to do to try to make the team. But it's just this dream, right? I don't tell anybody because I think it's a crazy dream. And then I start to realize about my junior year that I could probably be on the team. So I only have 13 players, but I go, you know what? I think I'm better than that 13th guy, so I can be on that team. But I didn't have the confidence to do it. And a lot of young people out there, you just don't have the confidence. Just kind of take that leap of faith. But every so often, like once or twice a year, there's not enough guys on the team because they're hurt, they're injured, they're sick. All of a sudden, there's a day when I get to play. And so I go, this is my time to shine. This is my time to show the coaches that I should be on the team. So I get in to practice. And I'm doing amazing. I can't believe how well things are going. I can't miss a shot. Every ball seems to be falling my way. And then disaster happens. So I take an elbow to the mouth and it just hits just right in the right spot. And it jiggles. I thought it was a tooth. So I was born with two teeth missing. So I had a spacer tooth that was put in there since I was a tiny. So I feel this hit and I go, oh, that must be my fake tooth. So I think it's just shattering a couple pieces. So I put it down on the floor, like on the court, because I want to keep playing. So I keep playing, this is my shot, right? This is my shot. And I keep playing that the next time out, about 20 minutes later, the trainer's looking at me and like there's, I'm trying to keep the blood, but the trainer comes over and goes, whoa, 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 whoa. You've got, it looks like you have two real teeth missing and that other fake tooth got knocked out. We got to get you to the dentist. And so the whole ride, I'm not thinking about the pain, I'm just thinking about, I can't believe this was my moment. And this happened, just happened to me. But then I realized the next year, when I actually was able to walk on the team and then get a full ride scholarship, is that the greatest thing that ever happened to me was getting my teeth knocked out. Because Coach Izzo is in the Hall of Fame and he's built that program on grit and grind. And that's what I'm telling all the young people out there. It's all about that grit and that grind. And so if you walk into Michigan State's facility, what does it say painted on the wall? Good players play, tough players win. And so Izzo, the next day at practice, when I got my teeth knocked out, had said, Qualman, I don't know if you're the toughest guy I know or the dumbest guy I know, but you're somewhere in the middle. And then now when I'm able to look back and talk to coach, is I realized that getting my teeth knocked out showed that I had kept playing, that I had that grit, that the program was all built on. And so again, if it was easy, it would already be done. And understand to be persistent in the short term, but patient in the long term. And most importantly, understand that things are going to happen for you, not to you. So while it can be upsetting in the moment, oh my gosh, I got my teeth knocked out. This is my moment. Just know that that's going to happen for you. 
not to you. You're going to be able to look back and understand, wow, that moment. The moment I got my teeth knocked out is one of the greatest things that ever happened to me in life. As crazy as that sounds, the same thing is going to happen to you in your movie.